What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy Terrence Gibson here, and I am at the end of, well, the end of my schooling and endorsements phase of my CDL. Been doing, been done for a little while, just been, you know, looking around for best places to go. Um, like, you know, when I started off, and we'll get more into it, um, I'm already locked in with Warner, but I don't know if I really want to work there. Um, so... I am going just to go over my CDL journey. Hopefully I can help some people out on what all I did and how I got to where I am. So now I am a CDL holder. So I have my license here. Um, I don't know if you can see it because of my background, but I have my license and I also have my Twit card. So I have my license, I have my Twit card and we'll go over how I got all those. And, and my endorsements on my license are tanker, hazardous, and doubles and triples. Okay. So I started off with CDL prep. Uh, this is not new. And it might be new to you if you're the first time ever watching my video, but CDL prep. Everything I needed, I got off of this app. Um, all you got to do is open up the app. And it looks just like that when you go to Apple Store, Google, However you do it, that's how the app looks. Um, and then you go on the app. So I don't let me show too much. You go on the app to go and do your training. Um, and it's, it has like a small little thing. But anyway, if you just look at this app from right here, when you click on the three, you have, I'm going to read them off. You got general knowledge. So my start of my journey, I needed my CDL uh, permit. So to get my CDL permit, I had to go on here and I had to go to general knowledge, combinations, and air brakes. So I studied those three on the app, went through them, it's like 200 and something um, questions all together, went through them one time, went through them the second time, went through them the third time. The first time is going to be a little longer. You, you don't know none of this stuff. Second time will be a little shorter because you kind of got the answers. And then once you figure it out on your own, you got them. Um, then the third time is going to be way easier. And it's going to become an all, you know, common knowledge. So by the third or fourth time you start going through this, you should start getting A's. And I only went through the general knowledge practice exam. I didn't go through exam mode because I didn't know what questions they were asked. So I only went through practice because practice has all the questions. All the questions are in practice mode. So I went through all the questions. So I did my first three. I did general knowledge. I did combinations. And I did air breaks. So I did that one first. Did that. Got my CDL um, permit. Then I went and found a school. So like I told you before, I went to Roadmaster. A Roadmaster in County, Georgia. That's where I went to school at. Um, you can see some of the pictures here. I went to this school and I very much so enjoy myself. Um, it was pretty decent. The instructors were very good at what they do. Um, very, 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 very good at what they do. Some of these pictures are not actually Roadmaster Conley. Um, some of them are looking more like maybe Lithia Springs. Yeah, that's definitely not the school. Um, that's probably the one. So even though I want Conley, it's probably showing more so Lithia Springs. So it doesn't really matter what the pictures look like. So I went to the one in Conley. You go to one Lith Lithia Springs. You can go to the one in Savannah. We actually had people from Lithia Springs come and teach while we were there. We had people from Savannah come and teach while they were there, and they all were excellent. They all knew what he was talking about. So went to school, uh, did my time there. You actually test on their grounds. Went through my test, one and done. Um, did my maneuvers. The maneuvers I came out with, I see. <laughs> so I only had the trailer. Um, and you'll understand what that means. For those that don't know, all I had was the trailer. I did the trailer. And of course, you got to do couplings no matter what. Did my couplings, did my trailer. Got inside, well, got before I got in the truck, um, I had to do my lights. Uh, on the front of the tractor, the back of the tractor, and on the back of the trailer. And then when he got in, we did the inside of the cab, uh, knocked that out, did my maneuvers. My maneuvers were uh, straight back, left. I had to offset, offset to the right, straight back, left, offset it to the right. And then my next mover was alley dock. One and done. I don't think I had any points. Um, they don't really tell you if you got any points. I never got a whistle blown. I was never told to go up. 
Um, I don't think I had any points. Normally, if you got a point, he's going to let you know you got a point because you're going to hit the whistle and you're going to move. So um, it was some of the best maneuvering I did my whole time being a truck driver. So one and done it, went out on the road, had fun out on the road. Um, they actually want you to drive the speed limit. So I went, my test was at 3.30. So around 4, 4, 4.30 or whenever we was out there actually driving because you got two hours to take the test. 4, 4.30 is out of driving. It was a lot of traffic out there, but, you know, it still worked out. Um, it was fun. Hit on the highway, came back, hit what they call the career killers, like little spots that if you hit a curb or something like that, they're easy to hit. Um, they're easy. I mean, easy not to hit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. Well, easy to pass. So all you got to do is just hug the lines, people. Hug. If you're making a left turn, hug the right line. If you're making a right turn, hug the left line. I'm trying to tell you, hug lines do not give you points. So don't worry about the lines. When you're taking, like when you go around a roundabout or you come in off a ramp and you see the white lines that they don't want you to hit on the car, you hit those as a truck driver. So you hit those just so you don't hit the curb and running around and then your trailer will follow you around every time. So it was pretty fun. Went to Roadmaster, um, did all my stuff. And while I was there, I actually went and I paid for my Twic and I paid for my, what is this? It's a, well, we can go back here. I paid for my Twic and I paid for my Hazmat. And how you do that, let's see. I was expecting this to just take me straight to the basic page, but let's see what this is. Um, hold on one second. Oh, let's get rid of this. Oh, oh. oh. all right, you rid of that? Let's hit on the top. I'm gonna come over here. Go to CDL. Oh, obviously on here you can actually look for different schools. Um, some things I did find, even though I did tell you I went to Roadmaster. If you want to drive with like XPO or something like that, these guys have their own schools. Like you can go to XPO, go to their school, and you're probably a shoe in for the company. Um which is something else that you can figure out. Uh, if you want to work for XBO, just go to XBO school. It's probably not going to be in your state, depending on where you live. Um, but you can go to XBO school. And you can actually just go probably straight into XBO. Okay, so here we're worrying about endorsements. So add in CDL endorsements. So only thing you had to do was you had to do the new ELDT. So the ELDT at Roadmaster, you get it at ELDT, but the ELDT for hazmat is something totally different. So I did everything I need to do, passed while, while I was there. I went to, I came on here and I was like, I want to get my hazmat and I want to get my Twit card. So obviously when you come here, they got the link to TSA. So you click on the link to TSA. All right. So. You just go here, and then you just figure out what you want to do. So I went in Twit. I showed you my Twit card, and I wanted my hazmat. So if you click on hazmat, eighty six fifty for hazmat. If you do them both together, you're going to pay about two hundred and something dollars. If you get the Twit, wait a little while and get the hazmat, then you'll pay less. But see, I don't know about you. My fingerprints are in the system. I work with the sheriff's office. I work private. I work uh, with the U.S. Marshals. My, my fingerprints are all over. Just put put it that way. My fingerprints are governed on on, uh, on the governor. They're they're in uh, government databases. They're in local databases. So my stuff came back that same day. So some people wait thirty days, forty days. I don't know. I went in there. At, by the time I was done, it was ten o'clock, six o'clock that p.m. I got my email back saying my hazmat was sent to DDS, which is DMV, and then my um, Twit card is in the mail. And then after that, a week later, my pin came in. So you make sure you get your pin, because your Twit card is no good without the pin. All right? All right, so come in here. You go in and you go new enrollment. You find your state. I guess, oh, oh wow. I guess these states. I don't know what's going on with those states. Um, Georgia, yeah, okay. And let's, see, let's click next. 
It's a little different than what I remember. They changed a lot of stuff. You know, the government always changing how they do business. So you come through here, you fill all this stuff out. Um, if you're going to be a walk-in, which I, I encourage, don't worry about making an appointment, walk-in. When I got there, I got there at nine o'clock. It was nobody there, just me. And and there was no appointment. So whoever made the appointment didn't even show up. So I got there at nine o'clock, was out by 10. Actually, I might've got there by nine and was out by 10 only because I didn't fill this form out. I filled this out on my phone. It only took me a few minutes to do it, but I filled it on my phone and I did my hazmat and twink at the same time. And you can just find you, a, um, as you finish filling this out, you find you uh, uh, ID me ident identigo place that is near you. If you're here in Georgia, for you that are not, you have to come on this website and then you have to find um, whatever state you're in, you got to find identigo or whatever they send you to for your state. So for Georgia, they send us identigo, went there. Um, been there and in and out $218 got fingerprinted twice once for hazmat once for twig um, and they both came back in like I said later on that day so you have to do this process there's nothing around this you have to do this it's the first thing that you do that's the first thing all right and after you do the twig and you come in and do that then you have to go and do your ELDT because what you'll see if you want hazmat requires test only, uh, violent CDL class A. So you got to already have. Now I got my name in the system. I couldn't actually take the test until I got my card. My while well, I passed my CDL and have my credentials to go take to the DDS, which you have to wait 48 hours for it to even go in the system after you take the test. Now, if you take your test at the DDS or the DMV, it's probably in there instantly. All right, fingerprints are required. Did that at the identical, um, not eligible, so I couldn't get it with my permit. I let you know that, but you had to have the ELDT. So I did the ELDT, like I said, with my school, but they said that one wasn't good enough when I got to DDS because it didn't transfer over. So I had to go online. So what I did was I found the best place to go to that was the cheapest place to go to was ELDT.com. I went to ELDT.com. $25. So for $25, I went through the course. It took me 30 minutes, I think, to go through the course, if that. Went through the course, 30 minutes. Um, is it on my cell phone? I think I did it on my cell phone. 30 minutes, went through the course, knocked it out real quick. Uh, my information was sent to the FMCSA, and it was also sent to the DDS. So all I did was the next day was go in there and take my test because I already was studying you know what? I was already studying my stuff on CDL prep. So for my uh, for my basic CDL general knowledge, uh, my general knowledge for my air brakes and for my how do we get them down pat combinations, I got from CDL prep. That's what I need for my CDL. Uh, uh, what you call a permit? Then I got my hazmat, my passenger. My hazmat, my doubles and triples and tanker from CDO prep. So I studied everything on CDO prep and passed all my exams. But my thing is once you get the hazmat, doubles and triples, even air brakes, make sure you get a hundred on the practice mode test before you go take it. Cause there are going to be some questions that's not there. Um, I don't know if you're a praying type person, but I'm a praying type person. So I was like praying for answers and the answers I didn't know the answers to, I was getting right. So I would say it's about four or five questions that's not on there um so if you know the answers to help you and and when you're at the dds you take the questions and until you and get enough right or get enough wrong so hopefully you get enough right get enough right and the test shuts off so i couldn't even tell you how many questions was on the test because i pretty much knocked it out so all my endorsements came from me studying on cdl prep and this thing works out um it's in dds i don't know where it was created at so it was working here in georgia it's probably working everywhere. You know, I'm thinking about just getting my passenger on here too. Not really a fan of Greyhound, but shoot, look like they didn't up the ante since they've been brought by another company. And they got a ten to $15,000 sign-on box. So something else you could do, you get your CDLA, you want to drive Greyhound, you got Greyhound. I mean, it's over the road. Everything, Most of the stuff is over the road. You can do your, your locals, you can do your, your regional, um, but depending on what you're trying to do, you can also do that too. But, okay, so we got that. Went to school. Uh, we use CDL prep for studying everything. So now we have our Twit card and we have our CDLA license with our um, endorsements of 
triple doubles, hazmat, and tanker. So we have all those things set up, and we did all those things just in this simple process right here, people. It is so easy to do, people. So easy to do. All you got to do is put your mind to it and do it. it it's crazy what you, I mean, the whole reason of going into these businesses, uh, think about it this way. If you don't mind working and you're wanting to work somewhere, I come out of law enforcement, I came out of military. Not ever trying to talk about, talk to anybody out of not going into the military because we need soldiers. But if you want something, that I'm just going to just go away from, I'm just going to put CDL A, right? Nothing else, just that. And this is Atlanta, Georgia. Um, do within 50 miles, right? CDL A, this is what starts coming up. Here we go. So, Minimum, well, up to thirteen sixty a week. It's one job. $96,000 a year, pilot flying J. So what you're going to find out, too, is a lot of these companies, um, McLean. Now, I think McLean, you can start being a new a new driver. Uh, at least 21 age, class A, at least one year. So McLean, McLean does have positions where you can start off as a new driver. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on record. KAG, no. Um, Pilot Falling J, no. Um, Pratt Recycling, let's see. Let's see what they say. So I want to give you the ins and outs one year. So, no. Unless you know somebody that probably work at these companies that can get you in, um, a lot of these are going to be um, local truck driver, are going to be no for um, coming in. One year preferred. And it's not because the company don't like you. It's because of their insurance. Their insurance is only going to insure somebody that's been there for a certain amount of time. And you know how people are coming after truck drives. Um, if there are people out there staging car um, car accidents, there probably are. And they're coming after truck drivers. Let's see what this is. Exclusive drivers. Uh, CDL, one year preferred. So you got places like that, but then you have enough, a lot of places who don't care. So you got no experience. Um, so CPC Logistics, let's see. Now, some of these people put their, their names in there. So you see, they still in there. Uh, let's see, I'm going to find you one. Western Express. Western Express, um, they they will take you straight out the, straight out the gate. See, that's all it says. They'll take you straight out the gate. Western Express also has, as a matter of fact, I can put it up for you if you want to do, let me put it here, uh, make that smaller, and put this here, make that larger. Western Express actually has it where you can go and be an owner-operator with a walk-away lease. So you can also come on here and go on Western Express um, to pay scale on what you would be paid. Um, this is additional fees. So you got the pay scale. You got the additional fees. Um, let's see if I can. I'm going to try to make it a little bit smaller. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? Okay, get rid of it. Um, there we go. All right. I'm trying to make it smaller. 67. That might be to keep them both in the same window. All right, there you go. So you see that, right? So when you come over here, you'll see how much it may cost for a truck. So this is your lease payment, and this is weekly. Understand that these are weekly payments. Um, rise of miles, sure, we'll get a truck, unbelievable price, and better. Weekly fixed cost includes. So, this is the cost of the truck. This is with all this insurance. So, you say this is my, my lease payments, my insurance premiums, my registration, my appointed taxes, and other estimated fees. So, everything pretty much other than gas would be inside this price. And then you'll get a good gas rate with these companies. Some people pay a dollar a gallon. 
um, for 250 gallons. So, so obviously you got to make sure that that money is in within what you try to make also. So the thing is, you can work on your own at your own time in your own truck, uh, going however you want to go. You can make the truck. You can put whatever on the truck you want to put on the truck. It's totally up to you if that's the route you want to go. So if you want to make 1500 2000 3000 or more, um, the best way to probably make it starting off is being an owner and operator, doing the lease purchase. And this is available to anybody. So what you would have to do is go to Get With Western Express, go ahead and take the number down, get with them. Um, they'll call you in for training. If you're new like me, you'll probably have to go train for three to four weeks. And once you finish that training, they'll set you up with the person to get your truck. That's it. And then you got your own truck, pulling your own loads, working whenever you want to work. So my thing is, because a lot of these companies, when you first come on, you're not going to get vacation time. You, the vacation time is nothing like the army. It's nothing like the sheriff's office. It ain't like fifteen to thirty days a month, a year. Um, in the army, I think we got two point five days a a month. So times twelve, it puts you at thirty days a year. You can be off. You be off whole month. I think the sheriff's office was pretty much the same. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot. Of, didn't never really use it, so I had a lot. So every time I needed to go where I needed to go, I can go forever long I wanted. Um. And still had reserves. So, yeah, you, you get a lot. But, like, here, you don't get that much when you come out. So, if you want to kind of do something, um, if you only need 1500 a month, um, I mean, a week, or, uh, you know, 2000 a week, just pull your loads. Do whatever loads it takes, how many miles it takes for you to get there. That's flatbed. That's drive in. Whatever you need to get to wherever you're trying to get to, um, that's what you'll do for your loads. And then you'll you go ahead and make out. You know what I'm saying? So that's one way to do it. Or you can just keep trying these companies. Um, Because a lot of these companies, they're going to, uh, you got Western Express, that's one. Um, you got Werner. That's the other one. 10 for trucking. Okay, overall opportunity for recent CDL school graduates must have a uh, trash day, 50 to 55 cents per mile, 100 per day during a uh, three to four week training period. So you make a hundred dollars a day while you're doing training. Home every other weekend. See, that's just where I'm coming at back. Home every other weekend. So if you don't want to be out two weeks and come home, most of Werner is two weeks out, two days home. Uh, Western Express is two weeks out, two days home. Just Western Express by itself. Um, if you come on as an owner operator, Leasing your own truck, then you, you know your time is your time whenever you choose to do it. But uh, Trans Am, look what they're trying to start you out as new. This is new people. Um, 31 cent a mile. I mean, that's what you'll pretty much make as a teammate on in Werner, but you got somebody else driving, so you're making more money. Um, and you can make you make quite quite a bit more. But 30 cent a mile, you need to go quite a few miles. So, um, so if you're making, if you start off and it's 55 cent, so that's, it's 55 cent, 56 cent a mile, um, and they're splitting that. So that's 28, $28, $28, uh, 28 cent a person, right? So take that, uh, times. Let's say five thousand. So you and your partner get five thousand. You'll make fourteen hundred. And then in the beginning, you got to go five thousand miles though to make fourteen hundred that week. And then at the beginning, you get to two fifty on top because you get the five thousand um, dollar signing bonus. You'll be making sixteen fifty. And plus, they'll send the money to your account to reimburse you for the school. So you'll be making sixteen, eighteen, something, then two hundred go right back out the door for the school. So whichever way you look at it. You still have to add all these up, uh, weigh all these options in, and make the best decision for you and your family on what you're trying to do. So, I mean, you go Western Express, meaning you'll be driving and you'll be using their loads, and they have a lot of loads. Um, you can either do Eastern Seaboard, 
what they say, everything east of the Mississippi. Let's just see what, uh, let's just go here and put on here, Miss the Mississippi. Mississippi River. All right, so we'll do it. Mississippi River. And we're going to go delete that from my location. So I'm here in Georgia. Um, Mississippi River. And this. So anything east of the Mississippi. So you got Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, um, all these states over here, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, uh, Mississippi goes here and goes all the way. This river is pretty huge. It goes all the way up that way. So you might end up in Indiana, Columbus, um, Ohio. You got Cincinnati, Ohio. You got Pittsburgh, um, which is in Pennsylvania, of course. And then you got uh, Massachusetts. You have uh, Connecticut, you have uh, Philadelphia, hopefully I'm going to go in New York. Um, we all know how New York is. Philadelphia got some small streets, that's where I'm from, small streets in it, but it ain't nothing like New York, it's just, that's just too congested. Um, I'm from the city, city and would definitely complain about being in that city. Um, yeah, so that's what you have. So you just got to look at what you want to do. Um, but you got everything that you need at your fingertips. If you want to start off this way, and you only got to do it from three, three to six months, three to six months, three to six months, you can start pulling in some of the bigger jobs. And they also want, if you just don't mind, you know, three to six months, just robbing anywhere for anybody. Once you hit your six month mark, you pretty much can sign up for most of the big dogs. Cause, um, and I think some of the people that even say they want a year, mm, they may hire you at three to six months, you know what I'm saying? Just coming or just coming straight out. Because a lot of places, like, let's see, Loves is not Loves, it's Gemini. That's what the Gemini Motor Transport. Let's see. See if they even have any but the move date. Our Love Travel Shop. Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing probably anywhere near. Definitely, I don't want to put a hundred miles of Atlanta. Loves retail maintenance, speed loop, technician, motel, and just looking at different jobs that they have in different places. They pay their drivers like crazy, um, and a lot of places you don't have to actually stay up on them because man, once the um, truck care technician. The trucking, the driver jobs are going like crazy because there's some people who have bad gigs that were over the road and they parked their truck. That only they were owner operators, they parked their truck and they're working for these corporations. And if I've been driving for five years, I can go anywhere. Um, anywhere. And, matter of fact, I got one right here I even saved. Um, even for people that never know who watch your videos, uh, if you buckhead armor. Let me just open this up here. This is the type of stuff that you can get looked forward to um, once you start becoming a beast in this region. So this is CDL. This is here, you, you, Georgia, all these lower states. Look at this crap. Must be able to relocate to Columbus, Georgia. Gotcha. Veteran-owned, simple fly. So they're Marines, Marine-owned, um, but you're veterans. So, you know, we're all military. Even though Marines believe they're in a, a league of their own, we'll give them that because they do go to uh, Paris Island for three months and we only do two months wherever we're at. I'm Army. We did I did two months in Fort Jackson. Um, so we got seasoned drivers. Our veteran van automatically earns 25% of the gross, $1,750 to $2,500 per week. Um, this is probably over, uh, owner operator. Yeah, gross per week, well, net, this is probably what you're going to make versus all the stuff that is going to probably gross, um, 20, 25% gross. Uh, so if you, yeah, so if, if it makes 10,000 that week, you'll get paid 2,500. Flexible hold time, 2019, 2022 freight liners, APU sleeper. We provide food for you, cooked by our own chefs, need a steak or a full meal plan. 
We provide you with any meals and drinks that you will need to get you through the week. These jokers feed you through the whole week, people. Feed you through the week. This is Buckhead Armor Drivers. Check them out. I mean, I can't give you enough. I wish I had a referral thing to give it to you, but this place right here, man, I mean, come on, I need to call Kyle. Like, they're saying, um, what you call it, 30, what do they got, 30 months, 30, here we go, 30 months. They're saying 30 months um, in the last four years, but hey, you're a Marine and you're driving now, you never know. You never know. You might have two years under your belt. Um, 30 months is, uh, shoot, two and a half years. So they might be like, hey, come on. You know what I'm saying? Might put you on some training program or move you up after that. But, man, once you get in a company like this, uh, I don't want to tell you. I mean, shoot, they're paying you. They're taking care of you. Um, even if your your load is $20,000 that week. I mean, say you drive the crap out of that joint. You're going to make 25%. 5k that week. You know what I'm saying? But that's an all that's an awesome position that you can look forward to. Uh and that's what I'm saying is it's CDL people. This is not going to school for four years um and coming out with two hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. This is just going to school for three to five weeks, depending on what school you go to. Like I said, if you go to XPO, they have their own school, people. Let's just go to that real quick. XPO. That is oh, and I guess if I can spell XBO company world class freight, take this off careers, drivers, uh. So drivers, team drivers, driver school. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I didn't know nothing about this until I seen it. Wow. Uh, driver school. So let's get started. Um, class A. Not a robot. Submit. Oh, well, you got to do all this information. But my thing is, they have driver schools um, locations. Uh, All right, they have one in what? Oh, that's a service center. Okay, I'm about to say, I've been looking at this place the whole time I was at school. See, I just gasped for a minute, like, oh, whoa, what's going on? Um, yeah, they got <laughs> they got a service center right here that's right up the street from where I went to school at. I was trying to find for you some locations of the actual school. But the whole thing is, I guess we don't even need to know that right now because the whole fact is now you know they have a school. Uh, Clean the form, have a crew to contact, you get started, and you'll go wherever their school is to go ahead and get started. People, that is crazy. Like, these people got their own school for a big company. Who do you think they're going to hire first? And they pay... Excellent. I'm talking about thirty, thirty-five dollars with some of the starting positions that they have for if when they have a position. You know what I'm saying? That's just how how much people want to get on with a company like this. That um, and that's per hour, and that's before the forty dollars, forty hours where actually will get paid overtime. Um, let's see, let's see. I'll try one more time to see if I can find. All right, let me see. Driver school. Boom, here we go. Um, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Colorado, Illinois, Pennsylvania, my state, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania. So there's two of them there. Um, Louisville, Kentucky, and I guess it's Wyoming again. Wyoming, uh, Wisconsin. What are they? I don't I am not uh uh, major of geography, so WI, wherever that is, Wisconsin, probably. Um, you can go to these different schools, different places at different schools. Um, and you can just go ahead and get your day started, get your career started. Home daily pay starts at 1974 an hour, full health benefits, life, 
Uh, so this is a driver's student. So this is a person that's just learning how to drive and they're growing. And after a little while, they'll be out as a full-fledged driver. It's crazy. 21 one year related experience, hold a final state, issue driver's license, talk about regular one to obtain a CDL permit first day, uh, by the first day of class. So my thing is what you need to understand too, home daily, they pay you to go to their school. Like, dude, like where the heck was this at when I was going to school? Like they uh they pay you to go to school. That's that's way different than anything I was talking about. So if you're in, you don't mind going in these areas to go to school, do it. You know what I'm saying? P PA, Greencastle. I'm from PA and I never heard of them. I heard of Mannheim. Couldn't tell you where it's at. Um, you got Colorado. There are some crazy places. I'm going to lie to you about that. Illinois. <laughs> so, you know, probably up the road from Chicago, um, Kentucky, and Colorado, somewhere in the close to each other. Yeah, it's it's like, you know, but what I'm saying is, people, you can go to school and get paid while you're in school, and then when you graduate, you're pretty much going to be still with this company. And it's an extra company, you're going to have to leave. I mean, they pay you money where you start growing to the point where, you know, you're going to be looking sideways at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, Walmart's like the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop, people. If they had one in Georgia... I would just bite the bullet, go to their school with my CDL <laughs> just to get put up in there. Because you think about it, they're going to go to school for a little bit of time and get put in a position that it would take the rest of us a year or six months to a year to really get. And they're just going to be put right into it. So, hey, it's worth it to give it up a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey, pretty much that's pretty much what my this video was about. Uh, my CDL journey, just a few tips or the trade on what to do afterwards, what you're looking for, what you're trying to find. Um, and when I start with whoever I start with, we're definitely going to do some videos with that. Um, you know, the best, safest videos we can do, regulation, um, nothing crazy that's going to get licensed, though. Like some people be drunk, doing videos and driving 90 miles an hour down the regular road. We're not doing none of that stuff. We're just going to be doing the right thing the right times so that we can safely do our job and everybody around us can be safe. All right, beautiful people. All right, it's your boy Terrence Gibson signing out, saying like, subscribe, rock that bell. Until the next video.